faith requires a goal. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This week, we are going to spend some time learning on the seven steps to exercise faith. Now, obviously, the Bible doesn't enumerate <clears throat> these steps as such. It doesn't tell us, you know, step one, do this, step two, do that, and step three, do this. Uh, when we talk about walking by faith, the Bible does not enumerate these seven steps the way we're going to present it. But in order for us to communicate, in order for us to understand and get a good grip on how to walk by faith, we break it down into these seven simple steps. And we will consider each one, uh, one each day during the course of this week. The first step in exercising faith is that faith requires a goal. Faith is, is, is to have faith, we must have a desired goal. Like we see in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Or faith is the substance, it's the confident assurance, it's the title deed, it's the, uh, the groundwork, it's the foundation for things that are hoped for. Faith follows hope. That means there are things that you hope for. There are things that you desire for. There are things that you have set your heart towards and your mind on. So then faith can come in to go into action towards uh, seeing those things that are desired, those desired outcomes come in to our possession. So for us to have faith in God, it begins by us having a desired outcome. It, it begins by us having things that we hope for. Now, obviously, these are not just our imaginary things, our own fanciful wishes and desires that we are pursuing. No, it, are, it is things that God has put in our heart. It is things that we know God wants us to pursue as part of His call on our life or as part of what He's given to us in His written word are uh, uh, things that are glorifying God, God, God glorifying the objectives. God glorifying outcomes. These are things that we must pursue. And then we begin to go after them with faith in our hearts. But if we don't have a desired outcome, if we <clears throat> are unable to envision something that we must achieve, something, a place that we must go, an outcome that we must see, an objective uh, that we must pursue, if we don't have that, then it's very difficult to say, I have faith in God. Because what are you having faith in God for? What is it that you're expecting God to do? So faith begins with this. Have a desired outcome. Have a desired goal. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is the substance. That Hebrew, the Greek word there for substance, one of it, meanings, it means title deed, proof of ownership. So faith is your proof of ownership that you have what you're pursuing after. You have what you're going after. Faith is a title deed of things hoped for. What are the things you're desiring for? Write it down. Make it clear in your mind. God, this is what I want to see happen. Then you can have faith in God to go after it. Let's pray. Lord, we ask that as we journey by faith, that we will be people who have a clear goal that we are pursuing or clear goals that we are pursuing and that we pursue them with faith in our hearts and see them accomplished in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.